One of the construction workers at Gigatex has just posted on their Instagram what allegedly is the first pre-production Model Y that Gigatex has assembled. Now there's actually quite a few things we can learn from this photo. For one, that the sources that were talking to the Quad Squad about when Gigatex was going to be operational and that prototype production would be starting soon. Those sources are probably correct. This aligns with their timeline, which means it's also probably safe to assume that Gigatex should be mass producing vehicles that are not just test candidates but also delivery ready by October at some point so early in the fourth quarter it also makes me feel better that the southwest section of the factory where so much new steel and so much new flooring has just been put in is not required for Model Y production to begin I was getting this bad hunch in the back of my head that pretty much we were gonna need this entire floor space just for Model Y's and now that we know that they can technically build a whole Model Y just with the enclosed sections this is reportedly in the general assembly section of the plant that that means the whole southwest side of the factory is probably just for Cybertruck production ideally unless of course they just plan on expanding out Model Y production even further another potential thing we could learn from this photo is that all right they're testing out with the black paint and also they're starting out with the 19 inch wheels which kind of squashes a theory I've had running for a long time which is that only performance Model Ys will be at the start and if they have 19 inch wheels on site you know this might just be a test candidate so they might have just brought in a couple of last minute parts just to calibrate a lot of the production equipment so it's very possible I'm overthinking this and maybe speculating a tad too far but because they're using the 19 inch wheels here my guess is that this is a dual motor long range Model Y and because we've been hearing from multiple sources from Golly of Hyperchange as well as Troy Test like that 4680 production is not quite ready yet and and they're going to be going with plan B of using 2170 cells at Texas and Berlin. I do not think the Model Y in this picture is rocking 4680s with the structural pack yet. I do still think that's the eventual plan with Giga Texas, but in the meantime, they're probably going to start off with 2170s and still a single piece front casting, but that's likely how Tesla is going to have the Fremont and Texas made Model Ys coexist for the time being, both of them using 2170 cells, meaning that the Model Ys coming out of Texas are probably just going to be shipped to the central US or east coast whereas Fremont Model Ys can just focus on more of the west coast and as Giga Texas ramps it'll be able to cover more and more of the country. I still do have a feeling that when 4680 batteries are ready and mass producible they'll probably end up starting with the performance Model Ys and we'd likely see like a range boost on the website to reflect that. At this point though I'm just unsure as to when exactly we should expect it but the idea of Giga Texas being operational and producing vehicles which of course can help accelerate Tesla's deliveries towards the end of the year. That is looking more and more likely to be ready as this is kind of the first sign that the factory equipment is ready. It's operational. They're probably just going to be fine-tuning a bunch of things, figuring out where they need to step in, make some corrections to ensure that quality control is measured in microns, not millimeters as Elon Musk said himself. So once again, expect mass production to be sometime around October. If you guys have any theories about what this picture could mean or what the future of Giga Texas has in store, feel free to let me know. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.